Hi, today we will be learning how to build, how to create an order button. Okay, uh, there, has, uh, ha there has been a study being done saying that the best order button to have on your website for uh, better conversions, for more sales, is the one with the orange color and more or less about 400 pixels wide. So that's what we are going to do today. And I guess we'll start with a new file. Okay, 400 by 200, that is quite alright. Okay, there you go. Okay, why don't we use a white for background? We have the white color there. And then we'll use this uh, rounded rectangular tool. Okay, maybe I'll put some guides there. There's about uh, 10 pixels uh, spacing on the left and on the right. Okay, and it's a rounded rectangle, rectangle tool and I have the 5 pixels uh, radius so let's just make a rectangle there alright if you have some uh, effects let's just clear that out for now okay the cool thing about shapes okay, is because it's, it's a thing that uh, how easy it is to change the color of it see Okay, since we're creating an orange order button, let's, let's let uh, change the color to something orangey. Okay, and then we're going to apply some effects. Okay, double click on the right side of the layer here. Okay, we'll have this layer styles. So we'll be applying some layer styles. Now, first, let's have some drop shadow. Okay. I'm going to change the distance to zero so that it's kind of like a shadow but it's kind of like glowing around it and the opacity is something like 40 or so and then we'll be applying some uh, gradient okay this is not really what I want now uh, let's click on this area here okay you'll get this gradient editor now here's what you'll do click on this okay double click it it'll bring this uh, color selection uh, change it to white so we have from a white to a white and on the top this is opacity uh, click on this double click on this and change the opacity to zero so we have uh, an effect here where it's uh, it's a gradient field from white all the way to transparent okay the white is on the top okay if your white is not on the top you can always click this reverse tag okay now we want the white on the top and we're going to change this opacity to something like uh, 42 how about let's try 40 whoops mm. I think we're going to do 70 okay and then um, how about some uh, inner glow okay some some light effects kind of like a glowing effect around it inside the shape and we're gonna increase the size to uh, about 10 okay and the opacity to about 60 okay actually uh, there's something else I want to do with the gradient overlay click on this again okay on the top side here move it all the way to 50 percent okay and then you see this little diamond here, click and drag that all the way as close as you can get to uh, this 100% uh, opacity. Alright, once you're done with that, click OK and then I'm going to change this opacity over here until to something that will feel comfort comfortable. Okay, I think, let's try 40%, 40% is quite alright, so, okay, now, Let's see how that looks like. You can always uh, toggle the, the guides with the control H. Okay, not bad. And then uh, we'll have some text. I like to use this two cent empty condense. Let's okay. Let's have it at bold. And the best word to have on your order button is add to cart. Okay, don't worry if you don't have a cart. Maybe you're just selling a, a one item product, but just uh, put it as add to cart because it's the best uh, call to action uh, uh, sentence that you can have, call to action phrase that you can have on your website. 
okay to make sure that this two aligns correctly okay click on this layer and hold down the shift key while clicking on the add to cut layer make sure you have this pointer tool selected and way up here we can align these two together align horizontal centers okay that's quite right now select, select uh, the add to cut and then use this type tool I'm going to change the color to something like navy blue okay it's a bit darker yep okay just a little effect double click there it will bring up this uh, layer styles let's apply some uh, gradient overlay this time the black to white is alright and let's move this down a bit to 20 20 yeah 20 is not bad and then we'll apply some uh, inner shadow okay we're gonna pull this up to about two pixels and then the opacity down to 40 percent and another thing is stroke we're applying a white stroke okay the size of the stroke two pixels and let's apply some opacity to it okay not bad how about some light drop shadow around it Five, six, and just a very light one. So we'll have that at sixty percent. But let's see what happens if I choose eight. Eight is not bad. So, okay, and that's the other button. Now uh, we can have some. Uh, uh, icons maybe we want to put some credit card icons or maybe PayPal um, PayPal's uh, logo there so uh, what I have I want to show you this this is uh, some icons that you can get from it's called the function icon set okay it's from we function you can get that from this link over here okay we function okay now I have mine and we have a few icons here that can, we can use okay that's the PayPal and then Visa and uh, Amex and how about Mastercard okay all selected click and drag into the workspace of your Photoshop okay all done let's move that out of the way now here's what we'll do we'll just make sure uh, select one of the files one of the icon the files for the icon okay we have the PayPal icon active here this layer click and drag it into the, uh, your order button okay that one so the PayPal we're done with that now it will so this got changes don't save anything next the visa click and drag into the other button close that one and then visa click and drag okay don't save that one we don't we don't need to save that one nope okay and then mx all right this one just close it okay now we have these four layers, layer 2 all the way to layer 5. These are the credit cards. Let's align them. Use the pointy tool. Make sure you select them. Okay, uh, this is how you do that. Hold down the shift key. Make it click on one uh, layer. Hold down the shift key and click on the rest. Okay, now let's use the pointer button here. The pointer tool, the move tool. And then let's align it to top. And we can also make sure that it is distributes nicely among each other. It's this one here okay and we can click and move it to the center a little bit if you want things to be a lot closer to each other select one of the layers and move it inside okay just like that okay maybe this one needs to be a little bit inside and then select all the layers again hold down the shift key to do that and uh, align them again distribute them again okay that looks a lot better okay once you're done, you can just use this crop tool here. 
Okay, and there you have your order button.